Before you move forward and watching this video, I warn you, something happened to my audio and I do apologize for this. If you're willing to look past it and just listen to what I have to say, no worries, but again, I apologize for the audio. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nicholas Kania, founder of Information Cuisine, and check this out. How can I make my bread less dense? Stay tuned for this quick tip. The simple solution is really time. Give it time. Now, assuming that you've gotten everything else done correctly, you allowed your yeast to grow, you checked if it's still alive, you've actually mixed in and kneaded in your flour and water and that yeast finally, and then you formed up to you know your bread shape, and then you just let it proof. You've covered it up or wherever you've put it to reach that 70 to 90 degrees proofing area so it can you know get fluffy that's the part where people always get lost if you don't allow it to rest and multiply and the yeast eat up the sugars allowing the part where it starts getting bigger then you're gonna have that problem if you don't do this and you throw it right in the oven you're impatient and you you touched the bread and it didn't bounce back when you um, touched the dough before it was actually baked then you're gonna have that problem so just seriously give it time make sure it gets a little bigger now if it gets overproof and it comes like flat it's become overproof that does happen another thing to consider adding a fat will make it more soft fluffy and allowing you to have less dense bread so there you go there's your answer, but please take your time. Allow it to just proof. Sometimes it takes longer than other days. For example, for example, it's winter, you don't have a proofer. It's gonna take much longer for it to proof because it's not in the ideal temperatures for it to multiply quicker. So keep that in mind. If it's in the spring and summer and you're like, man, why does it always turn out better during these times versus the ones in winter? That's the reason there too. There's so many variations, but if you have any questions or additional questions, please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. And for any other quick tips related to food, click over here. All right, have a good one and I'll see you next week. Peace.